Enthalpy of combustion is when one mole of a substance burns completely in oxygen. This is measured in kilojoules per mole. You may be asked to rearrange the every house can't make triangle toast triangle. If we wanted to work out the energy, the formula would be EH is equal to CM delta T. If you wanted to work out C, which is the heat capacity, C is equal to EH divided by M times T. The mass of water or the mass of the substance which is heated in the copper can can be calculated by the formula M is equal to EH divided by C times T. And to work out the temperature rise, we have T is equal to EH divided by C times M. This first example, we're going to be looking at rearranging the equations to calculate temperature. A Bunsen burner uses methane, CH4, which has an enthalpy of combustion of negative 891 kilojoules per mole. If 0.4 grams of methane were completely burned to heat a can containing 500 centimetres cubed of water, what would be the maximum temperature rise which would be produced? So the first thing we have to do is split our page and on one side we're going to do our proportion and on the other we're going to do every house can't make triangle toast. Now the question wants us to calculate temperature so the formula that we're going to use is T is equal to EH divided by C times M. We can see in the first sentence that we've got a relationship between energy and mass. We are told that 891 kilojoules per mole is produced when one mole of methane burns and the mass of one mole is 16 grams. In the question, however, we don't have 16 grams. What we have is we have 0 0.4 grams. So we cross multiply. 891 times by 0 0.4 divided by 16 gives us 22.275 kilojoules of energy released. So we want to insert our information into our formula. T is equal to 22.275 divided by 4.18 times 0 0.5. And that gives us a temperature rise of 10.657. Remember, it is going to always be a positive value as it's a rise because combustion is an exothermic reaction. Heat energy is given out. If you want to pause this video, you can have a go at this one and then when you're ready, press resume and I'll go through the worked answer. A Bunsen burner uses ethanol, C2H5OH, which has an enthalpy of combustion of minus 1367 kilojoules per mole. If 0 0.6 grams of ethanol were completely burned to heat a can containing 800 centimetres cubed of water, what would be the maximum temperature rise which would be produced? First thing that we want to do is split our page and on the left hand side we're going to have a proportion and on the right hand side we're going to use our triangle. The question wants us to calculate the temperature so the formula that we're going to use is T is equal to EH divided by CM. We've got a relationship between energy and mass. We're told that 1367 kilojoules per mole is released when ethanol is burned. 1 mole of methanol is equal to 46 grams. We're not given 46 grams, we're given 0 0.6 grams and then we're going to cross multiply. 1367 times 0 0.6 divided by 46 gives us negative 17.83 kilojoules of energy released. When we insert that into our formula, we want to just make the energy positive for this answer. 17.83 divided by 4.18 times by 0 0.8 gives us a temperature rise of 5.33. In this second example, we're going to be looking at rearranging the equation to calculate the mass of water. A Bunsen burner uses ethane, C2H6, which has the enthalpy of combustion of negative 1561 kilojoules per mole. If 0 0.7 grams of ethane were completely burned to produce a temperature rise of 10 degrees, what was the mass of water which was used in the copper can? The first thing that we want to do is split our page and on the left hand side we'll have a proportion and on the right hand side we'll use our triangle. 
the question wants us to calculate the mass of water. So M is equal to AH divided by C times T. We know that we've got a relationship between energy and mass. We're told that minus 1561 kilojoules per mole is released when ethane burns. One mole of ethane is equal to 30 grams. We're not given 30 grams, we're given 0 0.7 grams of ethane. And then we cross multiply. 1561 times 0 0.7 divided by 30 gives us 36.423 kilojoules of energy released. We can substitute that into our formula. 36.423 divided by 4.18 times by 10 and that gives us a mass of water as 0 0.871 litres. So here's an example for you to try. So if you want to pause the video, you can have a go and when you're ready, you can press resume and I'll go through the worked answer. A Bunsen burner uses propane, C3H8, which has an enthalpy of combustion of minus 2219 kilojoules per mole. If 0 0.2 grams of propane were completely burned to produce a temperature rise of 15 degrees, what was the mass of water which was used in the copper can? First thing that we want to do is split our page and on the left hand side we'll have a proportion and on the right hand side we'll use our triangle. The question wants us to calculate mass so we do M is equal to AH divided by C delta T. We know that there's a relationship between energy and mass. We're told that negative 2219 kilojoules per mole eh, was released when propane was burned and one mole of propane has the mass of 44 grams. We were given 0 0.2 grams, so we cross multiply. 2219 times 0 0.2 divided by 44 gives us 10.0863 kilojoules of energy released. We can insert that into our formula. 10.0863 divided by 4.18 times by 15 gives us a mass of water as 0 0.16 litres. In this third example, we're going to be looking at rearranging equations to calculate the specific heat capacity of the liquid being heated up in the copper can. A Bunsen burner uses ethanol, C2H5OH, which has an enthalpy of combustion of minus 1367 kilojoules per mole. If 0 0.1 grams of eth ethanol were completely burned to produce a temperature rise of 12 degrees. The mass of the salt solution in the copper can was 100 centimetres cubed. What is the specific heat capacity of this solution? So first thing that we're going to do is split our page and on the left hand side we'll have a proportion and on the right hand side we're going to use our every house can't make triangle toast. The question wants us to work out the specific heat capacity, so the formula we're going to use is C is equal to AH divided by M times T. We have a direct link between energy and mass. We are told that minus 1367 kilojoules per mole of ethanol is released. So we want to work out the mass of one mole of ethanol, which is 46. We don't have 46 grams, we have 0 0.1 grams that was burned, so then we cross multiply. Minus 1367 times 0 0.1 divided by 46 gives us an energy released as 2.97. We can insert that into our formula, so C is equal to 2.97 divided by 0 0.1 multiplied by 12 and we then get a specific heat capacity of 2.475. So here's an example for you to have a go at. So if you want to press pause once the question's been asked, you can have a go and then you can press resume and I will go through the work to answer with you. A Bunsen burner uses ethane, C2H6, which is an enthalpy of combustion of minus 1561 kilojoules per mole. If 0 0.5 grams of ethane were completely burned to produce a temperature rise of 21 degrees and the mass of the salt solution in the copper can was 300 centimetres cubed, what is the specific heat capacity of this solution? So first thing that we're going to do is split our page 
and on the left hand side we're going to have a proportion and on the right hand side we're going to use our every house camp make triangle toast triangle. The question wants us to calculate the specific heat capacity so the formula that we're going to use is C is equal to EH divided by M times T. We have a direct link between energy and mass. We're told that minus 1561 kilojoules per mole of ethane is released which means the mass of one mole is equal to 30 grams. We don't have 30 grams, we've got 0 0.5 grams, and then we cross multiply. Minus 1561 multiplied by 0 0.5 divided by 30 gives us the energy released as 26.016 kilojoules. We can insert that into our formula, 26.016 divided by 0 0.3 times 21 gives us a specific heat capacity of 4.1296.